Hey, what's up? How are you? Have a good evening. Uh, all right. Hey, I'm Dr. Dr. I'm world famous bariatric surgeon, author of 13 books. Have you gained the COVID-19 pounds? Man, we've been going on what, uh, four months now. COVID-19, is it getting to you? COVID-19 pounds. Hey, I'm a weight loss surgeon, so let's talk about how we get that weight off of you, okay? Um, I'm also going to tell you about my July weight loss challenge. If you uh, haven't heard about it, I can tell you about that today, too. Hi, Kate Aaron, Slanda, Jillian, Jody Priest, Michelle Alford's in my challenge, Angie Sewell's in the challenge, Alabama's up in the house, what's up? Scott Reynolds, how's it going? Angie, what's up, Angie? My girl, Clara, ain't she pretty? So nice of you, good to see you. Oh man, Christy, get in the challenge. Are you in the challenge, Christy? Dr. V's weight loss challenge, we can fix it for you. So let's get our questions up. Mary's in the challenge. Marcy's in the challenge. Love you all, thank you so much. June Vang, nice to hear that, okay. I work in the ER, COVID is very active. Yes, Carmen, it sure is. I've been avoiding doing uh, coronavirus videos just because of that. Um, Cheryl's watching me from Australia. Where are you guys watching from? Colorado's in the house. What's up, Marsha, how are you? Hey, Lee Summit, Missouri, that's cool. Uh, <clears throat> miss you, Yonda. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, it's only 10. So Yolanda, I'm, I left uh, Houston today, headed to um, Albuquerque to escape to escape the uh, coronavirus. Now I have allergies. I forgot my allergy pills. <laughs> uh, what's up, Debbie? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Cassie. Awesome. We're going to talk about the challenge a little bit. All right, guys, thank you guys uh, for tuning in. And I hope you'll hit share. That would mean a lot to me. We're gonna talk about this uh, weight regain or weight gain. Um, I'm the author of 13 books if you're new to me. I have a pretty good following. Uh, I've been educating the bariatric patient for, gosh, I've been creating content for 10 years. I retired from surgery a couple of years ago so I could focus on this. Um, I pretty much dedicate my full time to the bariatric community too now. <laughs> Ashley Kirby, you're funny. <laughs> Don't lie, you didn't meditate. I did I did both. Karen Holmes watching from Australia. Yeah, see, told you it's not just me. Kathy Free, what's up? Um, um so I pretty much uh dedicate myself to the bariatric community. Back in uh, February, I did a free weight loss challenge to get people back uh, on track. They loved it so much. We've been doing it ever since. So March, April, May, uh, June, and we're opening it up for July. So um, people, uh, a lot of people who are in the challenge are watching now. You can read the comments. They'll tell you that it's um, really changed their lives. They should be loving it, I hopefully. And uh, I want to share some tips that I've learned and that I share with people in the challenge. I want to encourage you to join the challenge. You can learn more about it right there if you just go to weightlosschallenge.com. I'm in an Airbnb. I just got in here and I think there's a cat or something in here. It just, ugh. my I was doing fine all day till my allergies. <clears throat> so, um, Sharika has been watching me since surgery three years ago. That's awesome. Um, so you can see all the comments in here where people are talking about the challenge, how they've enjoyed it, how they've lost weight with it, how they find more peace with it. And so I want to share that with you guys here for a little bit. And we're going to talk about COVID. You know, about three weeks ago, I said I was going to do more. I was going to start doing COVID, um, videos again because a lot of you guys might have found me for my covid videos and i'll tell you um i did one video explaining how the death rate back then three weeks ago was uh, actually 20 percent in the united states because we didn't have the outcomes uh not everybody had recovered so that number's come down and i i said it would probably be between 10 to 20 percent france is 20 percent 
the best case scenario was 6% of everybody who was currently um, in the middles of having coronavirus recovered. The best case scenario was 6%. We are currently at 12%. That's the current US death rate from the recovered cases. <clears throat> so it's not the flu. It's not like something you can blow off. And what we're seeing now is we're having resurgence in it. So I did that video about three weeks ago. And then I said, I was going to start doing daily coronavirus videos again. And I didn't. And the reason why I didn't is because, um, people who know me know I'm a very fun, loving, easy go guy. I don't like to talk about the coronavirus. I don't like to have to watch the news. I don't like to have to listen to, um, press briefings and things like that. It really drags me down. And this is stuff that I teach patients in the challenge of if you want to hear, here's tip number one about weight, weight loss. If you want to lose weight, stop watching the news. It really disturbs your mental uh, side of it. Now put a one in the comment section. If you think that weight loss surgery is mo mostly a mental process by that, I mean, in order to be successful with weight loss surgery, you have to get your mind straight. Put a one in the comment section if you believe that the mental side of weight loss surgery is the most important side. Put a one in the comment section. Now, what I want you to do is look at all the ones that are coming up in the comment section. Okay. Right. Shelly's a one. Kate says it's all about the mindset. I'm just going to look. Watch this. I'm just going to sit here and do this. And all these ones are just going to come up. Right. So we all know that oh my gosh there's hundreds of these ones coming up that weight loss surgery is the most important part of weight loss surgery is the mind part well i'm going to tell you when you watch the news and you hear all the negativity and you hear all the stuff um about coronavirus and riots and looting and protesting it fucks with your head <clears throat> i promise you it jacks with your brain and so the first thing you can do to lose the um, weight regain or the COVID-19 pounds, as I call it, is to turn off the news, quit watching the news. That's what the first thing I teach them in the challenge, if you join the challenge. And um, it makes all the difference in the world. I know I need to blow my nose. So what happens is um, when I was doing the coronavirus video, I would get myself so worked up trying to convince people to start taking the coronavirus seriously. When they finally started taking it seriously, I transitioned it to a uh, edutainment format, but that wasn't as popular. So I quit doing it all together. I just started focusing on my people here at the weight loss challenge. <clears throat> and, and we had a great time. And then people started saying, Dr. Vaughn, you need to do more coronavirus videos. And so three weeks ago, I did that one video and I was said I was going to do more and I never did them again. And I can, I, it's because it puts me in a really bad mind state, but if I could go back in time and I could tell you, uh, and my pe the people in my challenge knows this, so they, they will confirm what I'm about to tell you. Cause I've been warning them the whole time. Uh, I just haven't shared it publicly. I've only shared it in my challenge group. So I guess I'll do it now. Coronavirus is going to be worse in, um, September, October, November. It's going to come back. My hopes were that the heat would knock down the um, knock down the coronavirus numbers. Problem is, some states opened up very aggressively. People are sick and tired of the coronavirus. It's not new. It's not novel anymore. They're not doing the social distancing thing. On the way from Houston to Wichita Falls, I stopped at two gas stations, um, mostly to stretch, once to get gas. But I'll tell you. Um, the gas stations were full of people and I was the only person wearing a mask and there was probably, I mean, there was a long line. They sort of were social distancing, not really. I was the only one wearing a mask and, um, I get in my car, <clears throat> I have hand sanitizer, I wipe down my hands and I have uh, handy wipes. I wipe down the steering wheel, the door handle to my car and everything like that. And um, then I take off my mask. That's very important. Don't take off your mask first because you're likely to touch your nose. So nobody was wearing a mask at the at either gas station. 
And so there's no surprise why Texas is a, is a hot spot. Well, um, let me tell you what, I, what I've been telling my people in the um, challenge right here. If you go to weightlosschallenge.com, you can sign up, see what it's all about. I've been telling them this for the last three weeks. The um, coronavirus is going to be worse starting in September or October-ish. So we basically have three months to get super healthy, super fit. And that's what we've been doing in the challenge. And um, if you go back to my early coronavirus videos, I said our cases would probably peak in June. Um, and we started coming back down. And sure enough, today, um, yesterday, today's June 28th, yesterday's uh, June 27th, we had the highest number of cases that we've ever had in um in the United States in one day. And it's funny how much shit I got from people for saying that we would peak in June when we started to see flatten the curve back in May. And so I started getting all these nasty comments on my Facebook lives from people who were like, you know, you're, you're nobody who you're not a coronavirus expert. You know, you're just a fear monger. And I said, okay, whatever. And now here we are, June. Go back to those videos. They're on YouTube where I said we would peak in June. Uh, we would bury our dead in July. And and we would start it all over again. Okay. So that's coming to fruition. Now, some people are sitting there going, or they're going to say, Dr. Vong, the um, death rates are down. No, it's only temporary. It's only temporary because, one, there's always a two-week lag. And the new testing that we're the new people that we're seeing now that are turning positive are um, are are younger, okay? So less likely to die, but it'll catch up. Trust me. So why is coronavirus going to be worse um, in a couple of uh, months? It's because um, they can't shut down the economy again. They they just they're just not going to do it. They can't do you know, uh, the president's not going to shut down the entire United States again, like, like we did before. People are frustrated. Um, they're scared, they're nervous. And when they do that, emotions high, intellect low. And so they, um, they're, they're not social distancing. They're not going to wear masks. Um, they're just going to ride it out. They, they're going to believe in the conspiracy theories, whatever. And everybody can kind of, everybody knows this, right? So this is not anything genius, right? But here's the problem. Here's why coronavirus is going to be worse this fall. Um, it happens to coincide around the same time as the regular flu, the regular influenza. So now you're going to have a lot of people with flu-like symptoms, and you're not going to know if it's coronavirus or if it's going to be regular flu. And so you're going to get a lot of swabs up your noses and stuff like that, just to double check. And you're going to, they're going to overwhelm the system. Okay. And some people, and that's just going to add to the frustration. So instead of people being more careful, people will be more careless. Actually, this is the nature of people. Now, we're along with coinciding with the influenza season, we also have the uh, predicted worst hurricane season, a higher than a higher than usual hurricane season. So why is this important? Our the average named um, storm. The average hurricane season has about 10 named storms uh, a year. This hurricane season is predicted to have about 20, so higher than average. So we're talking about back to the days of Katrina and things like that. That's what's predicted. And uh, we already had one already go through Louisiana um, a couple weeks ago. Now, what happens here? When a, when a storm uh, is heading, people evacuate and sometimes they shelter in place. Sometimes you leave your coastal homes like I did when Hurricane Ike went through Galveston. Uh, I went into uh, north side of Houston, stayed with some friends, and there was 10 of us there kind of hunkered down. So you're going to have communities that are moving. You're going to have people that um, properties that have been damaged and now they're housed up in convention centers and big gathering spaces and churches and things like that. So that's not good because coronavirus will be coming back when this, these hurricanes are hitting. The next thing, um, this season we're expected to have a La Nina, a La Nina, not El Nino, in, <laughs> El Nino, La Nina. 
And what that means is more forest fires. So more forest fires in California, Arizona, um, Washington, all the states that are affected. Um, and we are already seeing Arizona's on fire too. There's huge fires in Arizona. Doesn't make the news like it would in normal, normal seasons. So now you're going to have evacuations. You're going to have um, people displaced uh, during times of a global pandemic. It's not good. If you look at the map, New York Times, anything like that, what you'll see happening is what I call manifest destiny. Who remembers studying manifest destiny in US history? We started in the East Coast. I'll change my hands, this goes this way. East Coast, and then it goes across to the West Coast, manifest destiny, that's what it's been doing. So it started up in New York, New Jersey, and it's worked its way all the way down to the South. Now, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas is on fire, Arizona is on fire, California is back on fire. It's going to make it all the way across the West Coast. And then um, now that New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania have calmed down, Connecticut have calmed down, um, it will come back. It, it just it, it will come back from travel, asymptomatic carriers, whatever. But you'll see it open happen again. And... Lastly, we're not going to have a fucking vaccination anytime soon. It's not going to be at the end of the year. It's It just does not work that way. Um, um, and even if we have it, and I, I realize that these, um, these biopharmaceutical companies are producing um, not only testing vaccine candidates, but they're also going ahead and producing it. But even you, you're going to give it to a large cohort of people, but you still have to watch them. So here's how vaccines work. You give, let's, let's phase three, phase three trials is, is when it's been deemed safe. Phase one is you just give it to people and make sure it doesn't kill them. <laughs> Very few people. And then phase two and then phase, th uh, phase three, you give it to a lot of people. But what you have to do is you have to test it versus a placebo. So you give one group the vaccine, one group group with um, no vaccine, with a placebo. And then you have to follow them to see if they catch the virus. And then you have to test them and, and follow up with them to see, check them for antibodies and things like that to see if they have an immune response. That just takes time. That's going to take time. And so a vaccination, a vaccine is not going to be available to 2021. And even when it, even if they decide there is one that's good, they'll only give it to the most susceptible initially until they can produce enough. So that's going to be our elderly and our immunocompromised, right? So having said all that, it's just, and, you know, I just, I don't feel good right now talking about coronavirus. I, I really don't because of all the ugly comments I get. But go back to my early videos on coronavirus. They're in YouTube. I said we were going to peak in June, which we are. And I said that we're going to be burying our dead in July. And I don't care what people say, you know. I mean, that's just where, that's where we are. That's where we are. So... We've been hunkered down, and a lot of people jokingly call it the COVID-19 pounds. <laughs> a lot of people are gaining weight. Now, this is a devastating thing if you are an obesity patient, um, if you're a bariatric patient. I mean, the bariatric community, these are weight loss surgery patients. Um, they've struggled with obesity for years. We're not talking the typical 20 or 30 pounds. We're talking 100, 150, 200 plus pounds. And so they've tried every diet. They've um, lost 100 pounds 10, 10 different times, and they've regained it. There's a lot of psychological, um, emotional. There's a lot of um, self-hatred. There's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of psychological, emotional disappointments. So then they have weight loss surgery. They're doing great. They're on track and um, they're almost a goal. And then coronavirus hits and now they've been quarantined. 
and they look at the scale and the scale is moving the wrong direction. Guess what that does to them psychologically? It really, it crushes them, crushes them. Um, or you're pre-op and you've been doing your dietary visits for the last six months that's mandated by your insurance company and you're almost ready to have your surgery and, and you might even already have your surgery date back in March. And then next thing you know, what happened? They shut down elective surgeries. They shut down bariatric surgery. So now you've, you're on hold. You're in a holding pattern. You don't know what to do. And so someone who's struggled with their weight, what are they going to do? Trust me, gyms are closed. There's nothing to do. Kids are at home. Parent, old parents are, maybe you don't see, maybe the, the kids don't get to see their grandparents. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of stress at home. So they're going to resort to what they do best, which is stress eat. And, um, you know, buy the wrong stuff by when coronavirus started, we were worried about having enough food supply. So I know <laughs> comment, comment, if this is you, you know, they went back to buying the stuff that they always were used to buying canned foods, canned soups, frozen stuff, frozen dinners, a lot of processed junk. And now they're eating their way through it, you know, popcorn to kind of, you're sitting there thinking, what can I do with these kids? We'll have popcorn. We'll have, you know, we'll make s'mores. We'll do all this sort of stuff, you know, stuff. Because it's what they've done for years. And so now now a lot of people are struggling with, with their weight regain. And what we need to do is um, help people with that, you know. So, yeah, ER stuff, saludos. Ana Lucia is a emotional eater, right? So Ala follows me from Tanzania. She's in our challenge, right? And what we have to do is get this, the mental part straight. We have to get the mental part straight. And I saw back in March, it was a funny little meme on Facebook. It said, after coronavirus is over, will all either be obese or will be alcoholics, <laughs> which made me laugh, but it's kind of true. I mean, we're seeing um, increased rates of uh, alcohol sales, right? We know that there is a lot of depression, isolation. Um, there are suicidal, increased suicidal tendencies. There, we know that there's been an increase in domestic violence. Um, and we know that there's an increase in childhood hunger now because there are kids in America that don't eat if they don't go to school, you know, and they, they go hungry on weekends because school is out. This coronavirus is no laughing matter. And I just don't understand why people aren't taking it more seriously. I just don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, I get it. Um, you're good looking. I, I mean, you are special, dude. You are God's gift to women and men and boys. And and, the, and you worked long and hard on your makeup and your lipstick's perfect. And, and it's a shame to cover it up. I get it. It's a shame to cover it up. Get over yourself. And you know what? You know, I, I understand... I mean, Lord made you this beautiful, perfect re respiratory system, you know, to, uh, if you were going to put nostrils, <laughs> where, where else would you put nostrils except for right here? Isn't this beautiful? Right. And now you're going to cover it up. Really? I get it. It's inconvenient. It's inconvenient for you. You know, but I had to wear surgical masks, not just even these little simple ones that go over your your ears, but the actual surgical tie ones. And, you know, I wore it for years and somehow I never suffered from carbon dioxide poisoning. Somehow I never suffered from lightheadedness and dizziness, you know, and it's so selfish. I, I just don't get it. I, it's a little inconvenient. It takes a little bit of getting used to. You're going, you know, you shouldn't be wearing it for hours and hours like I had to do during surgery. You're basically wearing it when you run into the grocery store and you run back out. You wipe down your hand with some hand sanitizer, wipe down your handles, your steering wheel, take off the mask. What's the big fucking deal? 15 minutes, right? 
and you don't like doing that? Well, look at the spike. What do you think the spike is? No, no, Dr. Vong, this is from people at bars and yada, yada, yada. Or these are from asymptomatic carriers. These are from people visiting the beaches here. They're taking it back home. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter, man, because the only thing that really matters is the fact that, that people aren't doing it because we are at the very heart a very selfish species. Now, I know this is a weird segue, but in my challenge, weight loss challenge, I got them to understand this. Comment here, watch this. There's a lot of people watching who are in the challenge. Comment if we did not talk about this sort of stuff um, last month. We talked about the evolution of man, why all this is happening, why people are protesting, looting, why BLM, why all lives matter, why all this bullshit that's happening. Watch this. Read these comments. You're going to say, they're going to say, yep, he totally taught us. He totally explained it. He totally made it understandable, you know. We are selfish creatures. Obesity is a selfish disease. You should see. You'll see. Read these comments. Um, so look, yes, we did. Here we go. We did. Yep. We did talk all about this. Totally on track. Yes, we did. See? We totally talked about this. He sure did. Yep. Yes, and it was incredible. Um, every morning, we talked about it all. Every morning, see? This is what makes this weight loss challenge different. It's not a meal plan. It's not, here, eat this. Here, here's how you do exercises. This weight loss challenge is about all the shit in here. We talked about the last couple of days, we've been talking about how you have a cluttered mind. It leads to a cluttered heart. That's why this environment's all messed up. It's all messed up. If you're struggling with your weight loss surgery, if you're struggling with your weight, if you're feeling isolated, if you're feeling slightly depressed, I, I encourage you to join the weight loss challenge. It's much more than just weight loss. It's much more than um, about um, you know what to eat. It's really the deep mental stuff. And you also get to join a community of like-minded people. And, oh, hold on, I saw my girl Erica. Where'd she go? Oops, she disappeared on me. Um, if you will allow me real quick, I'd like to show I'd like to share my screen with you. Is that okay? Can I share my screen with you guys? I want to show you what this um, this challenge is all about. Look at this. You've kept us focused and calm since February, right? All right. So, um, how to join? I'm going to show you how to join. All right. Here we go. So, let me share my screen with you real quick. All right, if you put in weightlosschallenge.com, you'll pull up this page right here, Dr. V's Weight Loss Challenge. So weight loss, um, weightlosschallenge.com. And I, this is my challenge. I only open it up once a month, and we're opening it up right now for July. I hope you'll join us. Our theme is to help you accelerate your weight loss results faster. And um, you get up to five free days because I opened this on Friday. So it would be five free days. Now you have three free days if you sign up now. Uh, sign up is open until June 30th, which is only a couple of days away. You get peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. You get to, if you sign up for it, you can also sign up additionally for group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching. Here, let me tell you what this is about. A little video. Have you me. had weight loss surgery or have you struggled with surgery, with obesity your whole life? And you know that there are things that you just don't know. You're struggling, things are tough. Um, you know, there are things you could be doing. Well, I can help you. That's what this program is all about. If you join this challenge, what you're going to find is a very loving community of like-minded people who have committed to seeing everybody win. 
Now, what are you going to get? You're going to get a daily email from me with specific tasks of things you need to do. And it's stuff that you don't even realize you need to do. In fact, it's quite uh, ironic that um, there are a lot of patients who are in this challenge who actually lost weight. And they'll tell you they've lost weight, even though I don't really tell them what to eat. I don't tell them what to eat. The first thing we do is work on the mind, the thought processes, the thinking. We clear out all the clutter. And when we, are, when we are able to clear out the clutter, then I can put insert the new information that's really going to radically change your life. All right. So you'll get a daily email with tasks from me. And then the number two, you'll also get a daily, not a monthly, not once a week, but every single day yes even saturdays and sundays you'll get a daily facebook live with me where i for about 30 to 45 minutes will talk to you uh, about the challenge what's happening and give you specific deeper insight and we're gonna go real deep into um, what's holding you up okay once you join you're gonna find this amazing community uh that's gonna surround you with love and encouragement in addition, when you sign up today, uh, you'll have an opportunity to, to um, join us for small six people uh, weekly um, accountability groups sessions where I will personally lead them. And then you can hear from other people what they've tried and done to help them be successful. Or if you want more personalized attention, this is the first time I've ever offered this, but you get to sign up and uh, get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Now, what is coaching? Like we've all had coaches. Michael Jordan um, has coaches. Tiger Woods has coaches. Uh, I've had coaches. I've had mentors. And my life really changed when I got a coach and a mentor. And you have an opportunity today when you sign up to choose to have me as your mentor. This means a weekly call where I help you get through your challenges and set a pathway for your goals. That's what this challenge is. It's not for everybody. And if it's not for you, if it's not right for you this time, that's okay. You can watch all my free videos on YouTube. You can see my, my Facebook lives on my fan page. But if you really want to take your surgery up to the next level, if you really want to take your life up to the next level, I hope you'll join me in this challenge. All right. All right. So that's what the challenge is about. You'll get a daily email and tasks to do from me, as well as a daily Facebook Live. You'll get an accountability partner that you speak to every day about the challenge. And you get access to not one, but two secret Facebook groups. One is the challenge group where I go live in there. I give you pop quizzes. I give you um, choices and selections to test your learning. But then you'll get a second one called the Dr. V Tribe. The Dr. V Tribe, I'm not in it. It's run by people in the challenge. That's where you support each other, you talk to each other, you give each other tips uh, and things that work for them. And then there's actually a Dr. V Eats where that's where you talk about the meal plan and stuff, right? So here's some um, testimonials here. Here's the price, here's what you get. It's less than a dollar a day. You know, try it for a month. Invest in yourself for a month. Why wouldn't you do that? You know, do it for yourself. Quit putting others ahead of you. Do it for yourself, right? I cover a lot of topics, including the mental side of weight loss surgery, body image insecurities, emotional obstacles, stress from the coronavirus, relationship changes, and all that sort of stuff, right? But don't take my word for it. Here are a few people. Right from the start, I've said working on your mind is the most important part of this weight loss journey, and Dr. V takes us to like the next level do yourself a favor spend at least six months in this group yeah and here's Hi, cynthia. My name is cynthia and i just wanted to say a couple words about the dr v challenge this is cynthia is a certified fitness instructor and um she actually gives us our does video demonstrations of some range of motion exercises that we do this is my second month doing it and i just have to give you this piece of advice if you want your life to change do it it's worth it you will grow as a person you will learn and if you are in the weight loss community this will help you so much so give it a shot it's so worth it the time, the investment in yourself. You are so worth it. And a thank you, Dr. V, for everything you do for us, because I know you put in countless hours taking care of us and your tribe. All right, enough of that. 
So yeah, just check it out. Put in uh, weightlosschallenge.com. See whatever works for you. Read all the different testimonials that are on there. Watch a few videos and see if this is right for you. Maybe it's not right for you right now. I have 400 free videos on YouTube you could watch. I really want to get you some questions in real quick before I go. But um, that's what we're doing. That's what I really focus on right now. So, okay. Yeah, why? <laughs> Man, I tell you what, it gets to me. It gets to me. All right. Share. Dr. B is so awesome. So worth it. That's it. F bomb and all. No questions. Um, I'm so thankful to sign up for my one on one coaching with Dr. B. Invested in myself. Carol's in the challenge. Just try it for one month. What do you got to lose? It's less than a dinner. You're not eating out anyway. Am I right? Am I right, everybody? You know, you have accountability talk. Look at this. Olive is in Tanzania. Her um, her accountability partner, Carol, I think is in uh, Florida. And like best friends, we talk, chat, compare notes and strategies almost on a daily basis. One person is in Tanzania. One person is in Florida. All right. Can you believe that? That's why this is good. This is seriously the best thing I've done for a long time. Just do it. Cheryl McIntosh, amazing. Um, I read that you shouldn't have any snacks. So a smoothie lunch dinner, what do I do? My sugar drops. I'm hypoglycemic. I have to eat a very small. I don't, why are you hypoglycemic? Um, is it from diabetes medicines or from a, a surgery? Those are a, a difference. Um, here you go. So Carol responds. Olive and I are across the world. We learn from each other, encourage each other, support each other. She's in Tanzania. See, and I'm in Florida. Now, how do I remember that? It's because they're both in group. And that's the difference about this challenge. You know, this is how we get really, really good. All right. Um, okay. I love Dr. V sense of agreement. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to be able to continue the challenge. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, Kat signed up. Thanks, Kat. We'll see you in. Make sure you check your email for uh, it's your spam folders uh, or promotions folders. Just search it for challenge, and you should get the uh, password to the uh, group. Oh, that's the other thing. Some people sit there and go, ah, oh, Facebook group. Well, like everybody's in a Facebook group. No, no, no. You don't get into our Facebook groups unless you have the password. And I change the password every time, so you can't use old passwords. Um, yeah, I learned that trick. I learned you guys were doing that trick, huh? So yeah, I changed the password. Um, you know, Yolanda, I'm surprised you're not, you haven't joined the challenge yet. You know, it's the closest thing we get to group. So, um, so I hope you get in there. You too, Rosemary. I know who you are. Four years out and you're, I know who you are. Gained 15 slowly, but then I managed to add 10, you know, that's it. Rosemary, get into the challenge, you know? Just do it. You're worth it. It's the closest thing that we have to group um, that we used to do back in the day. So just do it. Jessica, I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate. I mean, you look fabulous if that's a picture of you. Um, and if you know Cheryl, that means you're cool. So I would do it. You know, it's worth it. Twenty seven bucks. You can you know, invest in yourself. Um, it's also good. Absolutely, Angie. Uh, we have people who have lap bands, lap band revisions, lap bands to sleeves, lap bands to bypasses. We've got sleeve to bypasses. We've got DSs. We've got a, a few mini gastric bypasses. We have pre-ops, but check this out. We also have non-surgicals. We have people who are trying to not have weight loss surgery in the challenge. So that would be really, really good. Um, Michelle Bachelor's in the challenge. That was her in the video. Yep, she watches every morning from Albuquerque. Catherine Byrne signing up tonight. Awesome, Catherine. We'll see you there. Make sure you check your email for your spam folders and stuff. Um, I'm so thankful that I joined the challenge. Robin Whitmarsh, I'm glad you're in the challenge, man. I'm glad you're in the challenge. Um, is this more of a life coach group regardless of weight? I, I would say so. What do you guys think? in the comment section um they're actually the challenge used to be called the weight loss surgery challenge wls wls challenge and everybody in the in the group said 
Dr. Wong, you gotta drop the surgery part of it because you do so much more than just talk about surgery. What what you teach is everything for uh, for life. So Carol, everything's you know for life. Um, Robin's a non-surgical member. Yes, it's for everyone. Uh, I'm non-surgical to keep off the weight without this challenge. Would not have been able to keep off the weight without this challenge. Awesome, Virginia. So yeah, so I'm basically a, like a life coach for all these people. Life coaching for sure. Uh, yes, life challenge. Wait, that's awesome. Uh, is there advice for perimenopausal ladies? Absolutely. It all works. I got perimenopausal ladies too. Um, Kim Lucas has been in the challenge for a long time. Watch in the morning. Great way to start day. It's way more than weight loss. See? So don't take it. Oh, look at this. Catherine Burns down to 147.8. Thank you for everything you do. That's awesome, Catherine. Way to go. Don't take it from me. Take it from everybody. Um, you really do more than talk about weight loss, and it's great what you do. Thank you. So you still recommend the sleeve? I recommend the education part. It's really about the education, not just coaching, but also educational. Um, share is non-surgical. Share is, share is like 100 and... Share how much? 130 pounds now. Um, so, Andrew, I haven't joined the challenge yet, but watch all the videos. Dr. V, that are available outside of this challenge. Dr. V, tribe is tremendous, helpful. Start green smooth being awesome. Join the challenge, man. It, milk is pus water, man. Seriously. Um, yeah, thyroid is an issue. You got to get your thyroid on track for sure. Um, Alan, saturated hormones. That really starts with um, losing weight honestly. So Kiki says it's an awesome group to be part of. Ha, Kate, hold on. If you don't know what squash sex is, you're missing it. We talk about squash sex in the challenge. Laura Kilby, what's up, girl? Yep, saved my life. Thanks, Laura. I miss you, hon. Um, don't, honestly, I don't think I would have done this leave if I had found this first. <laughs> Carol says, Andrew, join the challenge. Uh, my heart valve is bad too, but Carter signed me off. Good luck. Lisa, good luck to you. Be safe, okay? Um, this is truly a life changing challenge, honestly, with tra transform many aspects of your life. So, can I share with you guys my screen again one more time, real quick? If you type in weightlosschallenge.com, just do it right now, put in weightlosschallenge.com, you'll pull up this page right here. Dr. V's weight loss challenge. This is everything you get. You get mentoring from me. You get peer to peer mentoring. You get a daily email with things to do. You get YouTube videos to watch. You get a daily Facebook live with me. Facebook live with me every day, not pre-recorded. This is not pre-recorded stuff. You get an accountability partner to keep you on track. You get access to not one, not two, but three, three secret groups. The challenge group that I'm in the tribe that I'm not in where you guys talk amongst yourselves and that Dr. V eats where you guys share meal, uh, food, recipe ideas. It's less than a meal a day. Um, yeah, it's less $27, less than a dinner out. It's uh, less than a dollar a month and you're totally worth it. Invest in yourself, really do it. I cover a lot of topics. Let's hear Michelle just commented recently. Hey y'all, I'm Michelle. I'm one of the founding members of Dr. V's Weight Loss Challenge. I have been in the challenge for two months, um, since uh, February actually. And um, I have known him for the last, um, what would you say, what, like almost going on two years now. Um, when I met him, Michelle's one of my patients. She's going to tell you here in a second. I was originally over 330 pounds. Um, obviously, I'm not that anymore. Um, his approach to weight loss is completely different than anyone I have ever met. I mean, how many of us have, oh, it's just about the food. It's just about the food. But through him, I've discovered it's way more than that. It's about a mindset, and that's what I really like about the challenge, and that's why you should join. 
you know, he's about changing your mind, changing your body and changing your life. You know, he's certainly changed so much about how I do things, how I think, you know, um, there's like not enough I could say how he has changed and influenced my life. Um, do it. You will not regret it one bit. You know, he has lives. He's very interactive. You get to talk about money. You get to talk about going deeper inside yourself, you know, because weight loss, it's such a mind blowing thing because, you know, you think about the food, you know, but we all know it's more than that. You know, how did we get there? You know, how do we move past it? There's, and he helps with that. There's like so much more to it than just the food. And that's what I like about it. And that's what you'll like about it too. So check it out. Join, get a new tribe, get a new mindset, change your body, change your life. It's, it's worth it, man. Yeah, I love what she said there. Get, get a new tribe, get a new mindset. That's what I really, really teach in this challenge. Take a chance, make a change, join our community, try it for one month. Why wouldn't you invest in yourself for just one month? It will change your life. It might be the missing ingredient to everything, to what you need to really take your surgery up to the next level. Why wouldn't you do that? 27 bucks, try it for one month, see what you think. My bet is you'll want to do it again, stay it again. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, right? Um, so, do it. You'll never forget it. Right. Hope to see you guys there. I've been driving for like six and a half hours, seven hours today. So I'm quite tired. <laughs> I'm actually going to shower and I'm going to go to bed and I will see you in the challenge tomorrow morning, bright and early. Love you guys very much. Be safe. Coronavirus is a real thing. I'm this close. I'm almost ready guys. I promise you. I'm almost ready to Yolanda Miles signed up. Dang girl. About damn time. Um, so Michelle's in the house. Yolanda's in the house. Now you got to get uh, Laura Kilby to sign up, Yolanda. You got to pull up all those people. Uh, Rosemary, come on now. Y'all get in the tribe. You know, it'll be awesome. Um, so, yeah, coronavirus is real. Don't let anyone tell you it's not. And um, I'm this close to doing more, do more coronavirus videos. Oh, I can't bring myself to do it, but I will. I will. All right. All right. Love you guys. Be good. And um, this challenge is only open up once a month. We open it up at the end of the month. This is time. Weightlosschallenge.com. Weightlosschallenge.com. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, Yolanda is an amazing lady. She's one of my favorite patients. If you get her as an AP, you are winning. You will be a winner, right? All right, see you later. Bye.